Google is at it again. They are taking away yet another targeting option. Now, uh, in the previous video that we made, we talked about Google removing content targeting. I also showed you the workaround for that. So if you have not checked that video out, I'm gonna link to that below this video because uh, content targeting is still alive and well. You can still use it, so all good there. Uh, and what I'm gonna be talking about today is that Google is removing similar audiences. So let's go ahead and dig right in, talk about what's happening and what that means for you as an advertiser. Justin Sardi here, CEO and co-founder of TubeSift.com and VideoAdVault.com. Now, what we're talking about today is Google removing similar audiences. Now, right here, as you can see, starting May 1st, 2023, Google Ads is no longer going to generate similar audience. Now, similar audiences, um, these used to work really well in the past, they've been very hit and miss recently. So I am not super bummed about this change because honestly, we haven't really been using similar audiences that much because we found that they don't quite work as well as they used to. They used to be awesome. I used to be able to run them all day, every day, um, bring in a ton of customers, but with Google's changes to their AI and the, the back end of how they're finding new customers, it's kind of become irrelevant, which is why they are removing it. now. Like I said, starting May 1st, 2023, they're gonna not generate these audiences for you. Right now, what happens is you upload an email list or you know cookie a specific page or something like that, and Google will make a similar audience for you, but they're not gonna be doing that starting in May. And then in August, you're not even gonna be able to use them at all. Now, like I said, this isn't a huge deal because what they're doing is they're actually taking similar segments and almost forcing you to use them, right? Now, this sounds kind of weird, but basically, if, you, if we kind of read into this a little bit, like why is it taking place? It's taking place because they are upgrading all of these similar audiences to automated solutions such as optimized targeting and audience expansion. Now, optimized targeting, what it is, is when you go in here and you set up a, a new campaign, right? Come over here, let's go video uh, and go continue. They are, it depends on the account currently, but if we scroll down a little bit here, um, we can see that they are coming in here and they're doing optimized targeting right here. So we actually don't have a choice. This is by default on in my account. You can go turn it off later. Some accounts I've seen they have you know the option to turn it on but essentially what this is it's helping you get more conversions by using information such as your landing page your assets blah 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 google's going to scan all of those things and essentially go out and find you some of the right people for your audience and they're moving to or for you know for, for your campaigns and they're essentially moving over to optimized targeting and if we talk about optimized targeting it's essentially um google digging into their AI and creating segments of people who are similar to people converting on your campaigns and serving ads to them. So essentially what they're doing is they are, they're literally creating similar segments, but kind of forcing you to use them. You can turn them off, um, but these things have been working pretty well. So uh, give it a run, you know, and, and let that go. So essentially what they're saying is, you know, it's automatically turned on for all campaigns. Um, so I guess mine is automatically turned on. I've seen some accounts, like I said, where it's not, but I, I guess they're starting to push that now. And it looks at information like keywords on your landing page and your assets, and it finds audiences that can meet your campaign's goals. Um, if you don't wanna use it, you can turn it on and off in your ad group settings, right? So let's say one of your ad groups is just targeting a specific custom segment and you don't want them using their optimized targeting, you can turn that off as well. Now, um, you can kind of read here, the audience expansion looks for additional things, uh, you know, additions, audience, audience segments, things like that, that they already have, where optimized targeting looks for additional conversions by targeting people most likely to convert based on real-time campaign conversion data like uh, people who convert what they recently searched for. So like I said, they're basically taking the data of all that they have about, hey, so-and-so just converted on your ad campaign. Well, you know, three days ago, he was searching for, um, you know, whatever, this specific keyword. And then they'll go find other people that were also searching for that specific keyword um, obviously kind of cross-referencing that with your page. I'm not exactly sure how it works because their AI is crazy. I'm not a computer. 
But um, you, you can kind of read a little bit more about this. I'll link to this as well. But essentially, they're just using real-time conversion data that they have from real-time converters and being like, hey, you know, you got 10 conversions today. All of those people had these things in common. They'll start applying that to your campaign um, without you actually knowing what's going on. So you, you won't actually be able to uh, know I wish they would tell you and just be like, hey, check this out. Um, they do have audience insights, as you can kind of see. It'll kind of help you pull some of that uh, unique characteristics. You can, you know, pixel specific landing pages, upload lists of customers, things like that. And you can get a little bit of insight into who they're targeting for you using that optimized targeting. But for the most part, it's kind of behind the scenes. Um, and that's what they're moving to more so now. And that's, uh, you know, that's kind of the reason they got rid of the. Uh, content targeting when it comes to campaigns with a goal because they're using this optimized targeting and they're just saying, hey, we got this, uh, you know, upload your assets, tell us your landing page, and we will find you the right people. It kind of takes out the room for error, things like that, and it's supposed to make a better customer experience, even though uh, a lot of people are not very stoked on the uh, removal of these things. So. Um, that being said, you don't really have to do anything. You just stop using similar audiences and start using optimized targeting. Make sure you are, you know, using conversion tracking pixels, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, it's it's just more important than ever for your landing pages and your ads to be hyper relevant to your offer. Um, really describe your ideal audience in there. You know, hey, who's who this is for, things like that, uh, because Google is looking at all of that. So with these new changes, obviously your ads and your landing pages are gonna be more important than ever. And that's why we have Video Ad Vault. Now, Video Ad Vault, uh, depending on the time this is published, we have almost 1 million unique YouTube ads and landing pages. Uh, and when you're watching this, you actually there actually might be more. We grow this thing all day, every day. Um, we have almost a million unique YouTube ads and landing pages. You can sort them with historical data, see exactly what's working in any space, any vertical, find the hooks, the angles, the calls to action, and even the landing page copy that's working in your space or similar spaces. And then you can apply that to your marketing to get better results faster. Uh, so definitely check out Video Ad Vault. It's, it's um, you know, used by tons and tons of YouTube advertisers and I guarantee that it will help you run more profitable YouTube ad campaigns, especially with all these changes that Google is making. So that's it for me on this one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.